Hello, everyone. And as soon as I start the video, he does that, of course. We have my, not mine, I didn't make it, but we have the raspberry sweet tea. Delicious. We have Adam here again because I'm watching him again. And I don't have pasta very often, but I wanted to try. It's vegetable rotini. Vegetable rotini? 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 And I didn't make my own Alfredo sauce. I bought this. But I added, um, I sliced up a sweet onion, a half of a half of a sweet onion, and I got a package of Bella mushrooms. And I sauteed the mushrooms and onions together. And then, oh, I'm sorry, he's gonna squeak that tool. And then when the mushrooms and onions were sauteed and golden. I added that Alfredo sauce. So go on and have yourself the first bite. Have yourself the first bite. I actually had this, I made this last night, and today I'm just eating the leftovers. Mm -hmm. Pretty tasty. That's a big mushroom. See how big that mushroom is? Adam, come here. <laughs> Adam. It's really good. One of these days I'll try. I've never made Alfredo sauce myself. One of these times I'll try it. But I think when I try it, I'll do it with um, chicken or shrimp. But I think I'm going to buy this again, though. And I can just do the chicken myself. I just didn't have any chicken. But I had the mushrooms. And the onion. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just throw this together. Mmm. It's also my very first time trying the uh, the vegetable pasta. I can't tell a difference. I don't eat pasta very often, as you guys, <laughs> as you guys probably are aware of if you've watched any of my videos. I don't eat it very often. So the vegetable pasta, it's spinach, tomato powder, is that it? And wheat. So I guess, ah. Interesting. But yeah, this is really good, especially with adding the mushrooms and the onion. I just don't eat pasta very often because it's going to make me, it makes me tired. <laughs> and then it usually makes me feel so full, I'm just like, ugh. But it's all good. I have Adam to walk, so. 
We'll walk it off. So far today, we walked about two miles, but it's still early. It is Sunday, April 22nd. Can I have that for a sec? Okay, I'm just gonna take it until I'm done recording this video. Let me have it. Let me have it. Give it. Wait until I'm done eating because <laughs> you guys will probably get annoyed with that <laughs> squeaking throughout the whole video. So I had him the last time I recorded a video. Delicious. And he came back with me yesterday. This time I have him until Thursday. Next time, well, when I make it myself, or the next time I buy this. I'm going to get the fettuccine noodles. These are good. I can't tell a difference. Taste wise, that is. So how are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. I've just been walking dogs. Watching dogs. Enjoying the weather. It's really nice out. My phone. Where's my phone? Probably upstairs. I also I got I kept this in the package so I could show you guys. I also bought Pineapple. I'm gonna try to um, I'm gonna try to grow a pineapple. I did it years ago. And got it transferred into a pot outside in the spring, <clears throat> spring or summer. It was probably spring or summer. Spring probably. Um, as the weather got cold, brought it inside, brought it inside for the winter, and then that following spring took it back outside. Then for some reason it had died that second time, but it lasted inside the whole the whole winter. So I'm going to try it again. I also want to try blueberries, but I have to go to the store and get some. But I want to try to grow some blueberries. I was watching some videos on it. Please don't drop on my laptop. Oh, this is ba this has basil. It's 
basil alfredo made with heavy <clears throat> pardon me basil alfredo made with real heavy cream parmesan cheese and butter no artificial flavors no sugar added can't taste the basil though um From the videos I've been watching, apparently you buy the blueberries and then, don't quote me on this, I think you let them sit in the fridge for a week or two, I think, and then you put them into the freezer for two to three weeks because then it makes them go into like a hibernation mode. And you also have to make sure you buy them. I live in the United, in the United States, so I have to make sure that I buy, I buy blueberries that came from the United States because apparently if they come from other countries, they give them like a shock of radiation or something like that. Something like that. Where it kills any like bugs or fungus or anything like that so it also kills the seeds themselves but if I get them and they were grown they were grown in the United States then they're not they supposedly don't have that get that shock of radiation so it does not kill the seeds so you put them in the freezer for two to three weeks they go into a hibernation mode then you get them out of the freezer and you put them in a blender. I think you add some water and you blend it, excuse me, and all the seeds float to the bottom. And then you just like keep adding water and the seeds will keep floating to the bottom and you just keep doing that, like rinsing them off until you're left with the seeds and then you take the seeds you get a plastic baggie and you put a wet paper towel but not like sopping wet into the baggie and then you seal the bag up and you put it in a, a warm dark place And then after a couple weeks, the seeds should start sprouting. So that's the way I'm going to try it. I've never tried it before, but from the videos that I was watching, that's how you do it. Well, one of the ways that you can do it. Tasty, tasty. Mushrooms. I love those mushrooms. Mm -mm -mm. So back to my pineapple. I just twisted the top off. I'll show you when I'm done eating. I just twisted the top off and turned this upside down last night. It helps all the juices go all the way through the pineapple so they're not all settled on the bottom when you cut it. So later today, I'm going to pour that pineapple and put it into pieces and eat it. But I'm mad because I thought I had some honey here from when I moved, but 
I don't have any honey because I like putting honey on top and then I let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. I have some organic cane sugar, so I may just sprinkle some of that on top. Because I know, like if you slice up um, You slice up like strawberries and sprinkle sugar on top and put them in the fridge it kind of makes them have like a thicker syrup sort of because it I guess it brings out the sugar or brings out something in the fruit I don't know I've never tried sugar on top of a pineapple but I'm gonna try it and see if it creates its own like thicker sauce. I could also grill some, but see they're better with honey. If you grill pineapple with honey on it, Woo! starting to get full. It's a lot of pasta. I thought that would have more calories. It says 90. <clears throat> Although. <laughs> Ninety calories for a quarter of a cup, but out of that, <laughs> seventy is fat calories. It's a lot. He just brought me his toy, another toy. Yeah, that Alfredo sauce is pretty darn good. I love it with the mushrooms. When I buy that sauce again, I'm probably going to do either, well, probably mushrooms and chicken would be better. He keeps bringing me his toy. <laughs> mushrooms and chicken would be better together. I don't know if shrimp and mushrooms would be good together. Good together. He keeps bringing it to me and putting it on my lap. Get your toy. I'll play with you as soon as I'm done. We were just playing earlier. We came back from a walk. Yeah, other than that, nothing else, nothing really has been going on. Nothing exciting. I may need a nap after this, actually. I've been up since 7. And what time is that? 
342. I was just like, you know what? Let me just eat this early so I'm not feeling blah. I've been trying to eat earlier. I'm getting really stuffed, but I'm not going to waste it. Just a little bit more left. I did when I was boiling the uh, noodles. I just put some sea salt into the water and a little bit of olive oil. Thankfully, when I have him, we usually walk between five and six miles a day total. He eats between five and six. So I usually feed him and then wait a little bit, let his food digest, and then we'll go for another walk, and then we'll go for another walk, usually around eight. And then our final walk before bed. Then, of course, in the morning. We go out first thing when it gets up. Come back in. Feed him. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I like to let his food digest a little bit. No, you can't have any, Sebastian. Let me rinse this off because he can't. Can't have any of that. That was tasty. I forgot to show you my pineapple. The top piece. I did have it sitting on the table, but of course, Mr. Sebastian started to try to chew on it. So see, I just twisted the top off and then I peeled off the leaves to get that. There is, they're starting to can you see some of the sprouts starting? So yeah, you just, all you do is twist, you lay the pineapple on the side and you just take it from down here and twist it off and then peel off the leaves until you have about like that much. And then you stick it in water. 
and wait for the roots to start growing. And then once you have some good roots, then you plant it in, put it in some soil. Oh, so I'll read my plate and then he's looking at it anyway. I think it looks like it's, looks like it's, yeah it is, isn't it? Sorry. We look like we're tilting. <laughs> I just now noticed that. But yeah, I had that pineapple sitting on the table because I get sun from this window. And I was like, oh, that would be a good spot, but Sebastian started. <laughs> Here, wait, we'll get this one. Sebastian started to chew on it, so I had to move it. He loves this. Squeak it. Squeak it. Squeak it. Here, I'll switch your sides. Oh, they both have squeak. Squeak it. Squeak it. I have this little basil stuck in my tip. Squeak it. Adam, squeak it. Squeak it. He will do it. He'll squeak it usually. Squeak it. You're going to fall on this floor. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. It's mine. Give it. Give it. Ugh, give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. <laughs> You're sliding. Give it. Give it. It's mine. Here, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Hold on. I can't see. Here, wait. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I will upload this video today. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I don't want to see my coat though, or my sweatshirt. Sorry if I have pieces of basil stuck in, my t in between my teeth. But yeah, have a great Sunday. I hope y'all are having, having a great weekend. I don't know what I'm going to post next. For right now, I'm just going to post when I'm eating something that's half interesting. <laughs> One of these days, I'll make my own Alfredo sauce. But for now, I'll buy that. And that's pretty tasty. I really enjoyed it. I may have to take a nap, possibly. Maybe, maybe not. Could possibly go out for another walk. But I don't 
but we will see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have um, a great week and I'll post again soon. And thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.